so honored. I am being joined by handsome gentleman after handsome gentleman after her and this one is just no exception and I would allow this handsome gentleman to introduce himself. Yeah. My name is Henri Ford. I am the Chief of Surgery at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. You know what? He just really, 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 um, he, he really shortened his title there for us because that is just not all that he has been doing. It, it real long, trust me, it real long. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. So I'm the Chief of Surgery, I'm the Vice President um, and Chief of Surgery of the hospital. Also the Vice Dean of the Keck School of Medicine of the University of Southern California. Uh, so I wear a, mon a bunch of different hats. Uh, there's no question about that. Oh my goodness, Dr. Ford, what island are you from? I'm from Haiti. I was born in Haiti and, uh, and over the past five years since the earthquake, I've been spending quite a bit of time over there trying to help rebuild the healthcare infrastructure. I see that, yes, you are from Haiti and you, you've been doing all this humanitarian work. In fact, the award that you would be receiving tonight is exactly that. Yes, indeed. It is a tremendous honor to be recognized for something that you do out of passion, out of a sense of conviction. Um, I always say that to whom much is given, much is required. So the chance to go back to Haiti and to give back uh, to the country that's really responsible for my success uh, has been a great privilege. And for the Caribbean Association, Heritage Association, to be recognizing me for that, uh, that is uh, truly priceless. My ministry is just to serve, it's in the healing ministry, it's really to try to make a difference in the lives of children uh, who are suffering. And there is nothing more. There is nothing more precious than to see a little baby who is on the brink of dying, and then because of the surgical intervention that I'm able to provide, um, this baby has 80 to 90 years in terms of life expectancy. And 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 when they come running to you three or four years later and say, Doctor Ford, Doctor Ford, it, it's really priceless. It, it's been phenomenal. And 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 truly, what really the capstone is being able to go back to Haiti and to help children who are in need. And just three weeks ago, I was able to separate conjoint twins for the first time in the country. And uh, to see those three, you know, they are now about three weeks out of the operation doing well. This is, uh, there's nothing like it. To God be the glory, let me big up for daddy. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you did leave Haiti at the age of 13 under not the best of circumstances. How difficult or easy was it for you to transition from an island boy to a Brooklyn boy? Yeah, well, um, it, was, it, was a, it was a shock. It was no question about it coming from uh, a resource poor area such as a, such, like Haiti and then going straight to Brooklyn. And, but actually it was not even as bad as the shock I experienced when I went from Brooklyn to Princeton for college. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, so, so that was really, really a major culture shock. But, but somehow we managed to survive, we managed to adapt. And, and I think that's really one of the key elements of most West Indians. There is a lot of resilience within us. And so we figure out what we need to do to succeed. And, uh, and it's been a great journey. Dogs of Food, this was awesome. Thank you so much for talking to us on My Key TV, your Caribbean talent network. We thoroughly enjoyed our time with you. And again, congratulations. We are proud of you. Well done on that humanitarian award. Thank you so very much. <laughs>